Hello friends, and thank you for uh, stopping by to watch my quick video. My name is Robin Schilling. I'm from Shillington, Pennsylvania, and I'm a National Executive Director. Please don't let that title scare you, um, because it really isn't that big of a deal. Um, for me, it's just who I am and what I do, and I, um, I've worked very hard to get where I am. So today I want to talk to you about three things. Number one, accountability. You know, when you work from home, there's nobody watching to see what you do. You're the only one that knows if you've gotten done the things you needed to do. So I would really encourage you to hold yourself accountable to do the things you say you're going to do. I have a friend that always said, mean what you say and say what you mean so if you're going to do x y and z today then that's what you need to do your director's here to support you but they're here to direct you to encourage you to train you but you're the only one that can keep you accountable so make sure you're doing that as you're growing your business number two you know, I've been watching a lot of the Olympics here this week, and I, they keep saying the same thing over and over. It just so happened they said it again tonight on the half pipe, but I've heard it in other places. And they keep saying that to get the um, snowboard to do what you want it to do and to make it go where you want it to go, you have to look where you're going. And that's also something that I remember yelling at every barrel race that my daughter competed in. I would tell her to look, because when you turn your head, your body follows, and so does your momentum. So looking where you're going not only applies in um, the sports that I'm watching on the, the Olympics and Katie's barrel racing, but it was one of the best lessons I ever received when I was learning to ride motorcycles, too. Because when you look where you're going and look up, not down, the bike will follow. So as I thought about that, it really applies to our business, too. Look where you're going. Think about the windshield of a car and the rear view mirror in your car. No matter what kind of car you drive, the windshield is bigger than the rear view. And that's because it's more important to look where you're going than to see where you've been. And the third thing I want to talk about is affirmations. Um, we had a director's retreat at the beginning of January, and we had a lot of really great training on affirmations. But, you know, you, you become what you think. And that is so very true. And most of us go through our life with this little guy on this shoulder that's really great and he tells us good things and he reinforces the positive. And then we have this little guy over here who is always chirping in our ear. You can't do that. Why did you think you could? There's no way you can do that. And it's funny because that conversation just happened on Monday when I was working with my trainer at the gym. I confessed to her that I considered not coming into the gym. And she said, make sure you're listening to the good guy on your shoulder because this guy over here is the one that's going to talk you out of it and make you not come in. And that's the guy that you don't want to hear. So I've really worked on being positively affirmed in my own mind that going to the gym is important and that doing the things and thinking the things that I want to have happen makes a difference. So write some positive affirmations, things that mean something to you. Post them everywhere. Put them on your bathroom mirror. Put them on the dashboard of your car. Put it on the side of your desk or on your computer screen. Put it on the front of the refrigerator. Make sure you're thinking and seeing those things because it will start to change the outcome of what you do. So thank you for being part of our program. It's really great to have you with us. 
and I hope that you will continue to grow and learn in your business. I've been in the company for 29 years and I learn something every single day. And I hope that you will stretch and grow as well. Thanks so much for being part of our program. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.